Hi everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries here with some more vintage bag haul on bagging. I'm gonna get right to it. Dump it out for less crinkle noise. A Gruen, I guess this would be called a Greek key design watch. It appears to be worn or just my reflection. Does anybody wear these watches anymore? I would guess they could be comfortable, but very clangy, you know, if you're typing and stuff. It's a laminated uh, stamp. 37 cents. I don't know what year that was. Treebrook Designs, Walnut Port, Pennsylvania. Cute. Ooh, I think I have this, a necklace from them. And it's made in the USA. It's the 19, uh, 1928. Clip made in the USA, nickel free from Hess's that I've never heard of in New York. Might be Pennsylvania. Because I think the antique shop owner that makes the bags goes to Pennsylvania quite a bit. Ooh. This is all from, also from Hess's. It's Kathy and Marsha for Catherine Stein. I don't know what this is. Some sort of plastic. They look kind of hand assembled. Not bad, not bad. Getting a lot of big earrings. This looks like a Monet, and yes, it is. Sorry for the glare. Yes, I have a few of these. I think they call come in a small, medium, and large because this one looks smaller than the ones I've found before. Very pretty. Big 80s earring. I don't see a name. I think that's just a mark. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Deplaz. I don't know if that's the way you say it, but that's the way I say it. Deplaz. They seem to sell big in France, this name. Because I have sold some to France, and they said it was a big name there. What do they call this? Tartan plaid, maybe? Deplaz. Hmm. This is pretty. I love that brushed and the... Um, Unbrushed, what would you call that? Shiny? Oh, Trafari. This is pretty. I would wear this. It's in good condition. I like the movement. I like that. I'm going to start wearing more chunky necklaces. I like them. This is, uh, reminds me of the 80s. This is kind of velvety with no name and it's very heavy but if, it feels like 80s 90s to me Ooh, this is the old style um keychain but it's really nice look these are um prong set oh i really like that I wouldn't put on my keys. I'm pretty rough with my keys, so. But. Very nice. Very nicely made for a keychain. Wow. This is. Maybe handmade. get that handmade feeling. Big earring.
This is metal, painted metal. This might be handmade also. Cool angel. This is strange. This is all on felt. It's almost like a part of a costume. I guess this could be a necklace that someone would wear, but this reminds me of something that would belong to a costume. Um, like the Ice Princess or something from Frozen, right? These are plastic. Maybe. No, yeah. It's not heavy. I mean, these are really cool. And it's just ribbon. And this is felt. That's cool. Something good for New Year's Eve, too. But it looks like something good for a costume. Here is a drop necklace it's missing oh this is broken off of here this is okay these are plastic Ooh, i love hearts too especially around valentine's day all of a sudden i want to buy all kinds of hearts well this is broken oh it was so pretty Nice swirl with the heart. Stone's missing. That's a shame. It's really cute. Big clip on to match the other one. Oh, oh, oh dear, heavy. Another Catherine and Marcia for Catherine Stein. Earrings. Hmm. Hess's. 15. It's got fabric going through it like a big button. Interesting. I have to look that up. Maybe it was made exclusively for that store, Hess's. Here is a necklace with some bone looking beads and wood. And I would say plastic. And these feel kind of metal. I like them all except for this one. If that was like a plain colored bead, I'd like it better. It's kind of odd, like a like a big um, seed or something. Bad, bad. Oh, here's the other plaid big earring. This is... Some kind of stone because it's cold and don't know what it is. Hmm. Just stretchy, stretchy stone. And the official candy of New Millennium M&M's. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So in 1998, they claimed that this would be the candy of 2000. Well, I do like some M&M's. Ooh, another bag. cute little hoop or half hoop what would you call that it's in good shape these are always you know good to when you don't know what, which earrings to wear to just get some plain ones limited I think that's a store though right I remember these I liked when these came out little pearl on the silk wire or a silk ribbon. I 
they used to make really nice ones like the bracelets and it had multiple um strands and what have but these just look like beat up fake pearls but they would have the you know sparklies in it really cool uh, oh okay let's go this way this is an adjustable ring with a the cross do they give these in church like if you wore i mean if you you know had communion or something i don't know about that How, or is this just a cross ring look at this beauty Don't see any name on it so this is how it would go on your ear cool let's see if the other one is yep the other one is here those are kind of neat right i like those here's the other um gold tone half hoop this is cute these are glass aurora borealis. Thought maybe for a second these might be silver, but I'm not seeing any silver mark on them. And here's the other one. That's cute. I could wear those. Give you a nice sparkle, right? And they're nice uh, beads on there. Nice quality aurora borealis. Uh, Sergio Valente. Didn't they make like men's colognes and um, jeans? I believe so. Silver tone and gold tone bracelet with a lot of wear. No kind of name on it. Stretch. This is a handmade, I'm going to say, um, puzzle piece Christmas tree. Very clever. I like it. Two cufflinks. Maybe unmarked, maybe not. Let's see. Don't see any name. They're in good condition. Very pretty. Does anyone repurpose those for anything if you didn't want to wear them as a cufflink? Little tie pin with a swirly. Some dyed abalone earrings. These remind me of something from Leo Sophia. They're pretty. This is a cute earring. Pierced with a little clear ball and a smiley sun. Those are cute. Mm. Not initially seeing the other one. All right, we'll put this here. Whoa, that's a big earring. Just that. Here's the other one. I'm gonna say 80s. That's interesting. Champion, I guess that's that's an oil company, right? Or spark plugs? Ooh. A little pendant. Cute. I love little pendants. Can't tell if it's missing a stone or it's just dark. Okay. They have little prong ones and ones in the back and some of them are a little discolored, but it's adorable. Adorable. This is um, 
these are real stones, very heavy, with just a ribbon, and it dangles. Yeah. Nice stones, pretty colors. Not bad, not bad. This is a big circle. Hmm. Not sure if there was something in the middle at one point or that's the way it looks. New truck Trocado, Trocadero, Trocadero, Trocadero. Interesting. Made in the USA. Those are heavy, wow. Pretty cloisonne in a maroon color. These are pretty. I like the cloisonne. Plain button earring. A little cushion. And here's the other one. They wore a lot of these back in the day. If you watch the old movies, these were worn by a lot of ladies. And they're pretty. They really look nice with shorter hair, too. Earrings stuck to here. This is cute. It has some pearls running through it. Napier. Cute little chain. Little arrowhead. That's an old chain. Cute. That's a nice cloisonne earring. Marked with something. Looks like a crown with a fish. Don't know what that is. Oh, here's the other one. I'm gonna have to look that up. They're very pretty. I like them. This is pretty. It's kind of like inset in there. See how it is? I don't know if this was had glass here or something, but I doubt it. Because this is like frosted glass. Very pretty. An earring, super light. I would wear these. I like the colors in them. If I could find, yep. Very light, pierced. I like them, they're pretty. Here is a double hoop. I don't think it's silver. Big hoop and a little hoop see the other one but I do see the Sun I like those those are happy earrings these two um, I know the LC but I just can't think of it little white hoops these are cool I like that book another LC Liz Claiborne. I like that copper and the gold. I like that. Too bad they're not bigger. And too bad I can't find the other one. Oh, here it is. I like those. Remind me of um, kind of an Art Nouveau style. I don't think they're that old, but they are pretty. Another one to just throw on when you don't know what to wear. This is a stretchy bracelet with some art glass. And this is ceramic. 
Nenhuma. Looks like, yeah, I guess it is Mellow Fiori, but it's in a different kind of way that I'm used to. Kind of overstretched. Pretty beads, though. This is pretty. Oh, it's got a chip. Shoot. It looks like hand-painted ceramic or porcelain. Very pretty. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't see the chip. Very pretty. A stretchy. Got a good stretch to it. What does that say? It says stainless steel. GSJ China. This is some sort of. I think it's plastic. And it's broken and going all over the place. A little Christmas tree that's been soldered. They really like this tree. It is cute. Pocket watch. Well, I'm assuming it's a watch. It may have perfume in it, who knows. No, it's a watch. Mm. Majest time, majest time, seventeen jewel, something something. Swiss made. Hmm, not bad. Very plain on the outside, beat up or dirty. Can't tell. It's pretty though. Oh, I think it's old. It's like the wind up type. Oh, it's working. Cool. A tie clip with a little inlaid something in there. I don't know what that is. A little like rhinestone or something? Can't tell. One of these. This is a cool chain. It's one of those bead chain chains, but it's doubled. No, just some scratches. It's a nice chain. I don't know if you could put a pendant on it. It would be in double. It might not lay right, but I like the chain. Oh, this is cute. Like purple stones with little pearls. And all the pearls and everything are there. That's cute. Adorable. It's hard to do this when I'm looking through the phone. It snaps together. Isn't it pretty? We've got beads everywhere. Oh, one of these. I love the Christmas ones that are all rhinestones. <gasps> oh, I thought it was broken. No! It's okay. Isn't it cute? I mean, it's small, but it it's noticeable if you wear that. Adorable. Stretchy bracelet. Pretty blue stones. This is pretty got like a smoky quartz and a peachy color and clear. No name probably, nothing. I think that's just some marks. Yeah, it's not gold or anything. I don't care. It's cute. Nice for fall. Very pretty. Be pretty as earrings too. Oh my goodness. Broken rear. Get over there. And I pick up picked up some rings. Um, this one I ordered from Etsy from Karen Lebo. I don't know if you watch any of her videos. Um, but um, it's Tiger's Eye that I love. 
and onyx in sterling silver. And this I picked up at the antique shop. It's onyx and silver, but also if you flip it, it's mother of pearl. So love that very, very, very much. And what else did I get? Oh, this one, I'm not crazy about the stone in it, but I like the shank and the setting. It's a little bent out of shape, but I still do like it. I thought it was nice. And this, oof, I saw it with the um, opal. It's not my size. I can get it sized. It says sterling inside, and it has I forgot the letters, uh, F, M. I don't know what that means, but it's got a lot of fire. I'm pretty sure it's a real opal. I get that feeling. And it's just beautiful. Mesmerizing. But I'll leave you on that note with this beautiful ring. And I have much more to come. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking. I appreciate it. Okay. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.